good, um, but he's not going to do any more big blockbusters like he's done in the past. Um, he handed the reins of uh, Bioshock over to 2K Games, uh, so 2K is going to work on them, kind of probably like uh, they did with Bioshock 2. Um, but he's not—he's no longer going to be involved in the Bioshock games, which is kind of sad because I, I, after Infinite, I really wanted to see where he was going to take the series mm-hmm. next. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and without him working on it, it's going to be like. Uh, and it sounds like because I mean to make a game at this scale is a mm-hmm. lot. How many years did it take for them to do this one? Yeah, that's and that's one? another reason why he decided to downsize because of just how long it took. Yeah, and yeah. how many times they had to go back over the game and just fix everything and get it ready and. You know, because that game was in development for a long time. I have a friend that uh, that is a game designer from that, that I went to school with at, at the Art Institute. And mm-hmm. uh, I remember um, probably within last year or two, I was talking with him. And he was already talking about retirement from the game industry because wow. of ha- because of the, the, the stress. You know, it's a very, very, very tough industry with a lot of burnout and a bunch of young kids coming in. Um, so to, to have this guy at this high a level, mm-hmm. you know, it makes sense. You know, it says, okay, we're going to do this kind of game because it's a, it's a stress. It's taking a toll on him, I'm sure. Do mm-hmm. something as massive as what uh, Bioshock Infinite was. Well, it, the thing is, <laughs> in an industry like that, mm-hmm. it, uh, I imagine there are some months where you're just focusing on Blades of Grass. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> well, you, but he's, he's also like the head guy. So I don't yeah. think he's looking at the blade of grass. There's some grunt there looking at <laughs> blades of grass. I mean, Somebody that's what who, we've come was, to. That's why, who? that's why it's how many millions of dollars to make these games because somebody had to make the grass wasn't it wasn't somebody on on skyrim's job just to do one rock <laughs> exactly, <laughs> like, right? that was their entire job of the whole project yeah. was just right. ro- working so, on one I mean, rock and, and no matter how high you are in the company I, i'm sure that it, you hear or you comment on every single fucking rock in the game that's yeah. the worst part <laughs> That's definitely the worst. So you you may not be directly making sure that that rock has the right angle in it, mm-hmm. or is what? the right size. Why is this rock but pink? You're over sure here? as hell gonna hear about it. Yeah. And you're gonna be like, no, that rock, that rock looks like a stop sign cut in half, and I don't <laughs> like that. Yeah. So I I mean, ultimately, when it comes down to it, you're eventually gonna want to stop thinking about the fact that that rock is too even. Mm-hmm. Um, another so, part of the story also, um, Cliff Blazinski announced that he's no longer going to make uh, games that are on CD-ROM. Yeah, he's C- going what? to CD-ROM? also stick with, Who's doing that? <laughs> well, like like uh, disc-based games, basically, like for the 360 and stuff like mm-hmm. that. He's only going to be working on digital games from now on. I, I saw said, I saw a version of the story. It, it sounded like he's aiming for PC in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. uh, yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like because. Mm-hmm. He just wants to focus on like like Ken Levine, story driven, mm-hmm. more like mm-hmm. intimate games. Um, because I, he's he's tired of like the 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 grandiose yeah. uh, releases and stuff machine. like that. It's a machine. Well, see, it, it, there's a plus side to that. Mm-hmm. No more blades of grass for him. No, no. Uh, well, yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it, it comes back to the grass and the rocks because whether they want to argue it or not. Console gamers are all about the look. Mm-hmm. They want that high res HD gorgeous background. Mm-hmm. Yep. When it comes to PC, they want a story or a game that they can play for thousands of hours. Mm-hmm. That they can mod but, themselves and make beautiful. Right. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Because a, a, a PC uh, modder isn't worried about the fact that that rock over there looks like a stop sign cut in half Mm -hmm. because he wants that rock to blow up whenever someone goes within five feet of it. I love (laughs) the analogies that we're coming up with on this episode, by the way. (laughs) So, well, I mean, that's, it, it, it fits. It's, it's exactly what the difference is. Mm -hmm. The console gamer wants that blade of grass to be the right shade of green and to look like a blade of grass. The PC gamer wants that blade of grass to sprout legs and stab someone in the throat. <laughs> oh my! All right, but okay. it, it, yeah, and that's and that's what it is. 
Because, I mean, a, a prime example. Go back and look at Portal 1 versus Portal 2. Yeah. Portal 1, while it didn't look bad, is a prime example of the difference in PC gaming and mm -hmm. console gaming. They were all because cool. Portal 2 looked immaculate. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Portal 2 on sale now on Xbox.com. <laughs> <laughs> on Xbox. <laughs> and I love the Portal games. I'm just throwing that out there. 